Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Trailer Park Christmas 2014, where I bring you a video every day until December 25th. That's a lot of videos and a lot of food, and I can tell you, I've had a lot of cookies, and we did crafts. I'm, I'm ready for my gift exchanges because we made the cutest little ornaments not long ago, and Bath Fizzies, that was earlier this week. Check those out. You can make those. But today, I see that it says Swedish Meatballs Trailer Park Style. And incidentally, you can get this calendar at TrailerParkChristmas2014.com. But Swedish Meatballs is something that I remember in the TV dinners with the foil tray. Now, those are classic, and they don't make those anymore because they would make sparks in the microwave. But today, I'm going to show you how to make Swedish meatballs, and we're going to update it. Trailer park style for the holidays, and guess what? The secret ingredient is leftover coffee. I'm going to show you how to make my Swedish meatballs trailer park style up next on Trailer Park Christmas. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my Trailer Park Swedish Meatballs is really simple, and I've got a stock pot here, but you could use a skillet, but you're going to need a lid for later on. First off, we're going to make the sauce for the meatballs, and I've got a 10.5 ounce can of cream of mushroom soup, and I'm sure you could use chicken or something like that if you don't like mushrooms, but that is part of the Swedish meatballs. That goes right on into the bowl just like that. Next up, we're going to add one cup of beef broth. So that goes right on into the bowl just like that. And that's just regular beef broth out of the can. And then we're going to add, this is actually a half cup of fresh coffee and that gives it a kick. That's the secret ingredient. So let's get a half cup of that right on in there and that will really surprise people with the flavor and we need a teaspoon of the W sauce I'm not even gonna go into that today so let's go ahead and add that to the mixture I don't really take a look at the measuring spoon on that because this stuff is good and then I have some minced garlic we need about one I, actually, let's put two teaspoons in this. Let's go ahead and do that because I like garlic. And that goes right on into the bowl. And something else that is kind of authentic in Swedish meatballs is uh, nutmeg. And that gives it a little kind of exotic taste. That's one eighth teaspoon. That goes right on in there. Let me whip this together and get this mixed up and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, we've got that all mixed up, and it sure does smell good already, but we need to get this up to boiling, so let me get this started and check back with you in just a moment. Now that we got the sauce mixture boiling, I'm going to add a bag of those party meatballs that are already frozen. Now, be careful not to splash yourself. There we go. Right on into the bowl, just like that. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to turn this down to a simmer and we're going to simmer these in this nice dark brown sauce for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the meatballs are hot so let me go ahead and do that I'm going to put a lid on it and I'll check back with you in just a moment meanwhile while the meatballs are cooking go ahead and fix some of those egg noodles and have those ready too Wow, look at that. It looks like you've been cooking all day. 
they've been simmering for about 10 or so minutes and they're nice and hot. Now what we're going to do to really jazz up the sauce is add a half cup of sour cream. Now I like to add a little bit more than that because you know that was just kind of a weight watching kind of thing and we're going to stir this around and we're going to simmer this just a little bit more so that it thickens up a little bit and I'll check back with you in just a moment. We're going to make a nice plate of it and try it. And there you have it, my Trailer Park Swedish Meatballs. And look at that nice gravy over those egg noodles. And we use those very easy to use pre-made meatballs. And I just can't wait to try this. Look at that. And it smells so good. It smells like a great exotic sauce that is on them. And I'm sure that it reminds me of those TV dinners. Let me give it a taste of it. Mmm. That is so good that uh, I, I'm going to go eat the rest of this plate. I don't know about you all, but this is going to be one of the best dinners that you made for your family in a while. So I hope you get a chance to make it. Swedish meatballs trailer park style will certainly make you the talk of the park the next time you make it. Make it for a buffet or a potluck and people will talk about you for days later because this certainly is a dish that brings back memories of home for people and you know maybe the old fashioned TV dinners and it's certainly a great one to share around the holidays. And who would have thought that a cup of coffee could make that great flavor in there too. Be sure to tune in to me every day until December 25th and download the calendar at TrailerParkChristmas2014.com so you can follow along because I see tomorrow it says Gelatin Surprise. Now that is definitely a Trailer Park tradition. I love spending the holidays with you. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Google+, I'm all over the place. Merry Trailer Park Christmas and I'll see you back real soon. Bye-bye! Slap on all your blue eyes shadow Watch out for that big tornado Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide Visit my store at TrailerParkStore.com